What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ladies and gentlemen, I got an update for you, which I'm kind of shocked myself because uh, I did a story about this person uh, way back in 2019. And and I got a notification uh, this early this morning about an update about this person. So uh, let me uh, <laughs> let me uh, turn this around and uh, let y'all see who I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, look over there to my left. I'm gonna be talking about this man right here. Uh, some of y'all may remember this. A lot of y'all probably don't, or a lot of y'all probably don't remember this man, period. This man's name is uh, Travis Stackhouse. You see that picture of that cheesecake? Y'all remember, he's out of Milwaukee. Y'all remember I did a story on him back in 2019. Matter of fact, I did an update on him as well back then. This man had uh, punched his five-year-old son and killed him because the son ate the last piece of cheesecake. I bullshit you not. The story was true. I remember when the story first came to me. I said, you got to be fucking kidding me. But when I looked into it, this shit was real. But anyway, I will refresh your memory right now for those of you who don't remember. So let me see. Let me see if I can refresh your memory about this damn food right here. And uh, have a listen. Milwaukee father Travis Stackhouse is facing one count of first degree reckless homicide and made his first appearance in court today. The 29 year old is accused of fatally punching his five year old son, upset that his son had eaten his father's day cake. It happened near 26th and Ruby. According to a criminal complaint, an autopsy revealed the boy suffered blunt force trauma to the abdomen. Stackhouse admitted to punching his son in the stomach and hitting him in the face because he ate his father's day cake. Stackhouse's cash bail was set at $100,000. He'll be back in court July 5th for a preliminary hearing. For more on this story, head to fox6now.com or the mobile app. Again, you can't uh, make this shit up. This the stupidest shit I ever heard, you know. I mean, goddamn. You know, a lot of us want to talk about these women. I get it, you know. I feel you. You want to talk about these women, you know, making these mistakes and all they do the dumb shit, you know. Hey, I don't take that away at all. You know, I totally agree with a lot of these women. But we got to get some of these goddamn fathers too, though. You know, some of these motherfuckers are just crazy as fuck and stupid as fuck as well, too. And, 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 you know, it's something got to be wrong for a motherfucker to get that upset with somebody over a goddamn piece of cheesecake. Something you can learn how to make your goddamn self if you ever run out of it. You know, you just think you can um, make that your damn self. I mean, what the hell is this? And can I get rid of it? All right, cool. But anyway, guys, here's the update. Uh, after all that time, on May the 6th, wait, this was updated on May the 6th, which is, which was yesterday. He has pled guilty, but at first, back then, he didn't plead guilty. He pled not guilty for what he's done, but he has pleaded guilty for what he has done now. And there he go right there. Uh... And it says right here, Travis Stackhouse charged with killing five-year-old son over a piece of cheesecake pleaded guilty on Wednesday. Wow, fucking insane. Just fucking insane. And it reads as follows. You know, a jury trial was cut short Wednesday, May the 5th, when a Milwaukee man charged with killing his five-year-old son over a piece of cheesecake pleaded guilty. Travis Stackhouse initially told officers his five-year-old son was playing with another child upstairs when he fell down the stairs the afternoon of June the 1st, excuse me, June 21st of 2019. Stackhouse eventually admitted to punching a five-year-old in the stomach because the boy had eaten Stackhouse's father day cheesecake. Stackhouse said he only had one piece of the cheesecake and was upset others were eating it. Man, wow. 
After punching the boy in the stomach, Stackhouse said he also used the back of his hand to hit both sides of the boy's face. Wow. A sentence here is uh, scheduled for uh, June the 29th. Again, people, uh, like I said, I get it. There are a lot of people, you know, hey, we want to look at women and say, hey, you know, they the cost of this and they the cost of that and this, that, the third. Again, like I said, I don't take away from the message. I do agree with a lot of stuff that he has been saying about that, you know. But again, you know, a lot of us don't look at the men in this society too. They, they just as fucked up as the women, you know. So, uh, you know, with me, you know, I like to be fair and call out both sides. I just don't want to stick in saying women is the problem of society, you know. I mean, in this area that we in, I think it's both sides of problems, you know. Um, uh, men is ignorant, women is ignorant, women do stupid shit, men do stupid shit, women kill the kids, now you got the men kill the kids, you know, so we can't ignore that at all you know it's both sides now you know maybe at one time it probably was just the women but again now you know it's just both sides you know and we need to call out both sides instead of just blaming just one uh, gender and saying that uh, they are total at fault you know um hey shit crazy man this man right here killed a five-year-old over uh, a piece of cheesecake that's a damn shame but however though even when i did this story back then I don't remember the baby mom ever coming out speaking about this, you know. I guess I would have to uh, do a little research and see has she has she ever spoke out about this or whatnot, you know. So, wow, crazy as hell. And I ain't forgot all about this man, but I'm glad his update did come out, you know. So, uh, June 29th will be his sentencing, and um, we will see what happens right there. So, as always... Oh, wow. It's always your man, Chris Thorns. You know, leave your thoughts and your comments in the comments section. And, uh, hey, I'll catch y'all next time. All right? Peace.